There's a problem a lot of people face when they have been discarded, especially from a narcissistic person, and that is the lack of closure. It's the lack of feeling like there was ever any real ending or any any discussion or any accountability or any anything related to ending a relationship in a somewhat reasonable, healthy way. My name is Elise Colucci. I'm here to help you understand and transform your life after narcissistic relationships. So, so lack of closure, what's there to do about it? Very few people after narcissistic relationships, when there's a discard or when they have left, have a sense of closure. Very few people get that experience of closure from a narcissist. So one thing you can do is work to let go of the expectation that there will be closure. And sometimes it can help to understand why a narcissist won't give it. So let's go over some of those reasons. They need to believe in the delusion. They need to believe in the lie of who they are claiming that they are. And because of that, they can't be accountable to anything in the relationship or anything in the reason that the relationship ended. They don't have object permanence. So when you are not with them, you are not with them. In other words, out of sight, out of mind. They only care about themselves and they can't empathize. So what they're trying to do is either build the victim status so that other people feel sorry for them and they get supply that way, or somehow take care of their own feelings in the situation, which protects them from having to be accountable, which goes back to the lack of accountability. They don't empathize with you, so they really don't care what your experience of the ending of the relationship is, unless it gives them supply. In fact, they may be withholding any kind of closure just to maintain the hoovering relationship with you so that they can continually seek attention from you. They don't want you to forget them. They don't want you to be able to get over them. They don't really let go of anyone anyway because they own everyone that they've ever been with, right? Once you're with them, they believe they own you. you. Need to maintain that little crack in the door, that little space that well they can slip back in through. They need to maintain the ability to hoover you. So if they give you closure and you're able to move on, they eliminate their chance of ever being able to get attention from you again. They have an absolute fear of losing supply. So if they think you're not gonna give them attention, it kind of freaks them out. They will do this as a punishment because they know it's something that you need. They need everything to fit into their narrative so that they can prove they're not the ones at fault or whatever it is they're, they're lying about, about the ending of the relationship. For instance, they might say, well, we just had a very different lifestyles. We, we liked very different things. It's very sad because we were really good together, but or yeah, that person was boring and they didn't like my happy active lifestyle or whatever it is that they say. When in truth, it's because so much manipulation has gone on and the devaluing has spun so far that there was nothing left in the relationship anyway. Giving closure would be like giving up power to a narcissistic person. So those are just some examples. And if you're liking this content, please hit the thumbs up. What can you do to help yourself if you're not getting closure from the person that has just discarded you or you have just left. Let's look at some of those things. One major thing you can do is start giving the closure to yourself. Start creating ritual or routine or do things like journal and write letters and burn the letters, things like that. Give yourself something, some way to be heard and validated. Speak to someone, talk to a coach or a therapist. In fact, that's a great way to use a one-on-one -on -one session in coaching with someone because you can speak what you need to say and someone who's been there and is coaching you through it will know exactly what that feels like, right? And be able to relate back to you pieces of the closure. Remember, you're not gonna get it from the narcissist, so it's okay to seek it for yourself and to seek it externally from people who are there to help you with this. Maintaining no contact really is the key here. Trying to get as low contact as you can or, or go completely without contacting the narcissistic person. That includes don't look at their social media, don't talk to their friends, don't reach out to their families, everything. Don't They don't exist anymore in your world, make them a person that does not exist in your mind, in your thoughts, through not participating and engaging in anything that has anything to do with them. And the reason this is helpful is it starts to break those trauma bonds. And once you start breaking those trauma bonds, the need for closure diminishes because what you see is the reality and the reality becomes the closure. Really understanding narcissism and how narcissistic people continually for the rest of their lives and always in relationship will manipulate will hurt, will abuse, okay? And so understanding that can be a source of closure. 
If you need help with this, check out the information in the main description of every video. There's information on coaching, group coaching, or peer support. So check it out if you need it. I'm here to help you. Leave me comments. Let's talk about this and we'll talk next time. Take care.